Hello everyone, welcome back to the next episode of our little playthrough here. Um, yeah, we've just entered uh, the Renaissance through astronomy. Actually looking forward to building our first world wonder soon. Yeah, actually that's something that we should consider. We're not working our workshop in our capital, are we? We are not, no. So we're probably not getting an engineer. Uh, we probably won't get... Scientists and seven turns, yeah, I don't know. We probably won't getting an engineer anyway, honestly, because we don't have any engineering points and our workshops weren't amazingly early. <laughs> yeah, and also our tech path isn't very conducive to world wonders yeah um, obviously there's none on astronomy arabia is already building sistine chapel so yeah and uh, if we look at banking and printing press although we don't have patronage uh so we're not getting forbidden is anyone in printing press yet not I yet don't think anyone is no we, we might be able to sneak in printing press maybe but we're gonna have to hard build it so with that in mind i think we want to head to our uh ironworks next yep. on machinery because yep. i don't think we're getting alhambra or notra off ship or physics yeah they, they are already done so yeah so do we go for the observatory here now yes i think we do there's still we, market you know, and temple left to build here so i think the observatory is more important okay i'm not sure that we're even going to get the fate for our great engineer to be honest yeah 670 it's going to get a bit late i'm trying to work how great work out how greedy we can be with our <laughs> colosseums we really want to build them as late as possible but so what i'm looking at is we're growing in munich in two turns in cologne in two turns hamburg will be protected happiness point it'll be the 10 and berlin will also be protected because it's an odd number in the capital munich as well right or is it just in the capital with the odd numbers no uh, yeah okay. just the capital basically we're gonna lose two happiness we're gonna be at one and we it won't be too long until we grow again yeah. so what i'm thinking is we probably need to finish the Colosseum in uh hamburg it's yeah. gonna give us access to well actually cologne's a long way away from getting a Colosseum, which means that we can't get access to Circus Maximus very easily. So we're definitely going to run short of happiness here at some point. The next major source of happiness is going to be on our ideology, which we're a ways away from. I think we have to just build these Colosseums, unfortunately. Oh. Um, yeah, so during the, the break, we radared around. We weren't able oh. to find any barbarian camps. Yeah. I'm tempted to hold them just so that we can get quicker railroads late game. Production, yeah, we don't have... We don't have a workshop here yet, so... That's not too bad. Six turns is not yeah. too long. So what is the next order of business in our... Capital. It's definitely uh, culture. It's definitely going to be Writer's Guild into yeah. Artist Guild. We've hit a really nice timing getting into the Renaissance before we've expended a uh, cultural policy on a villa tree. Yeah. So we can open rationalism yeah, here. That's a no-brainer. The reason that we've been able to do that is mostly because our culture is so bad as opposed to our science being so good. So we definitely want to uh, crank up as much culture as we can right now. Yep. So yeah, definitely Writer and Artist Guild in the capital. Does it make a difference? No, it's four turns either way. So the Writer's Guild is cheaper in terms of production. So I usually build the Writer's Guild first. Mm -hmm. I think the Artist Guild is actually better for us yeah. in terms of the yield that it gives us um, yeah. in the long term. The production and the gold and the culture uh, is better than just the straight culture because the culture from the artist will also increase the culture of the writer. If you think about the way that they'll spawn the writer and the artist, what we're going to do is we're going to hold them until we get to home hermitage if we get to hermitage mm -hmm. and then we'll pop the artists and then eight turns after the artists will pop the writers so just it's what definitely worth keeping that in mind as well if we were to be only popping a single artist the golden age would only last six turns yeah. and i believe the writer bulb is based on eight turns of average culture so in that case we'd want the writer first otherwise the the golden age would end before the writer was spawned we don't need to worry about that here because i think we're going to hold them until we're popping like two or three at once once. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Do we want to be friends okay. with this guy? So we do, depending on how France and particularly the Celts feel about him. It doesn't cost us anything to say no now and then offer him friendship on our turn. And I think he will accept. So I think we can do that. They covered lands that you currently own. Okay, yeah, so it's All that right. way around. So it's not too bad for us. No, oh, no, no, no so that no. means that... The yeah, sorry, sorry. That's worse. Yeah, that's so that worse, means so. that they're, we're going to have to build some military. We've been pretty greedy for this long. Yeah. All right. So first thing I think we do, let's dump our gold into our spearmen and upgrade them both. And then I think we'll cycle them back towards the Celts as well. We need to work out if Celts and Iroquois are buddy-buddy. Because if they are, friending Iroquois is a good idea. And if they're not, it's a terrible idea. Okay. That's pretty much a way to guarantee that the Celts war us. Yeah, so how do um, we find that out? I think if you go to F4... 
and then go to global politics. I think it would tell us if Iroquois and Celts were allied with each, uh, were friends with yeah, each other, I would. think, on yeah, this screen. Would, would. So they're not. I thought there was a tooltip somewhere where you could hover over either one of them and it would tell you, but it doesn't seem like there's anything there. Is there anything in the discussion? If we go to the trade screen, like if we trade oh, yeah. with uh, Celts and go to discuss. So we can we can actually uh, do that in, in trade. So we can do yeah, like this. Yeah, see if they want to. Yeah, they don't All want right. to. We don't have a lot to offer them, but that, it also says that they're not like super willing to attack them right now either i think we're just gonna we're gonna bring our pikes back and i think after our artist guild or mm. our writers guild which is three turns we can just build a couple of units yeah should i maybe as well jot down a fortress here Never we're gonna probably not going to hold that tile so it's probably just giving them a free pillage we're probably just going to plant our two pikes on our two hills yeah. and then line up some crossbows behind them that would have been a reason to not tech for machinery quite so quickly so we could have built some comps and upgraded yeah. them but we also didn't have a stack of gold either yeah so i don't think we can friend iroquois because we can't sort of ascertain yeah. how the celts feel about them yeah. we can work our artist guild now plus 20 is about the minimum you want to be in your capital i would say yeah. i would say you want to grow at least once every six turns and i'd say we're probably growing slower than that next turn so um, uh, con uh, concerning the uh, capital population so i think it was uh, pc j law who said that it's like you should aim for like tur uh, 20 pop ish at turn 100 you do you think so as well or do i have something mistaken here honestly i don't really think about the game in terms of benchmarks like that okay because you basically want it to be as big as you can make it by turn 100 the value in a benchmark like that is assessing your position in the game right in a multiplayer game that's a little bit more relevant against the ai it's not so relevant into where are we in terms of tech if we look at uh, the demographics it's still bad. last yeah. But it's like we're not we're too only far behind. five. So right now we're behind. But I would expect by the time we hit uh, public schools, I'd say we're going to be first. And I'd say that we're never going to fall below first after that. Uh, the AI really drops off uh, sort of from this point forward. There's a few reasons for that. The biggest reason is most of them won't have picked tradition. Yeah, they, uh, so yeah I don't think anybody did. Um, so it's, I think someone did, because uh, yeah, otherwise we would have... Obviously, uh, he built Tangy Gardens. Egypt did. But, yeah. Uh, so... France took honor and aesthetics, uh, Egypt took tradition, aesthetics, and ex exploration, and Arabia went full piety aesthetics, uh, as, as did the Celts, and Hiawatha went piety and patronage. Yeah, so, and you can see that because Egypt picked tradition and they're tech leader. Like, it's really quite stark. Yeah. Um, the next big thing is, is that none of them are going to pick rationalism. They're all going to finish the secondary trees that they've already started, and then only after they've done that, they may consider picking rationalism. So our science is going to explode relative to theirs. I think 20 pop at this point is fine, but I'm also not like, I don't know, thinking about it that way. Like if I could be 25 pop, I'd be 25 now, pop if I could I, be 30. I, I may have remembered it wrong now that you said it was like at least 20 pop at turn 100. So it's not like the aim for 20 and not like 25. You said like you should at least have 20 pop at like turn 100. In your yeah, and I think that's a fine rule of thumb. I think um, the other one that I hear a lot is science per turn. I've heard a lot of different ones. I've heard 100 science per turn, I've heard 150, I've heard 200, but that's not a very good measure either because your science is so exponential. So like before we finished our universities, our science was like 80 or 90 or something. And then five turns later, it's 165. Yeah. So we've essentially doubled our science in the space of like five or 10 turns or so. So being five turns late, let's say on that, really wouldn't be the end of the world. We're, we're definitely not in a great spot. Our capital is pretty terrible. Yeah. Our um, Delayed city in Hamburg was also quite bad. And then settling a post-national college city is quite slow. It may prevent us from getting to Hermitage, which is quite important because we want to dump that culture into rationalism. So I'm not loving our position by any means. We've also been extremely greedy with our military. We've built two spearmen <laughs> uh, way back on... Uh, <laughs> Turn 20-ish. Yeah. 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 20 or 30. We haven't built anything since. But we're being greedy because we can afford to be greedy yeah. in this regard. In this regard. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so do we build one unit now and then finish the Riders Guild or do nah, we wait for the Riders Guild? I, I, I really, really want my culture. So I think we go Riders Guild and then we can build a couple of units. We can afford a, a unit here. Yeah. 
So I think it's a crossbow um, man for us here, right? Uh, so if we just go back and look at our capital. So I'm assuming that we're going to attack, get attacked through our capital. Yeah. Uh, are we settled on a hill? We're not, right? We are not. We are settled on flat desert. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if we put our two pikes on the two hills and fortify them, mm -hmm. which is what we want to do because we get a combat bonus on rough terrain and we also get a 20% bonus for t fortifying for one turn and a 40% bonus for fortifying for two turns. Can't, we can't actually line up that many crossbows because our capital's not on a hill yeah. and the tiles behind the hills are also not hills. Yeah. So we can put one crossbow in the capital and then we probably need another blocker unit south of yeah. Berlin yeah. and then we can probably put some crossbows behind it. So yeah, we can definitely start with one crossbow. Yeah. Um, and I will say here, I think we did make a minor error deciding to tech for our uh, ironworks so early. I think we could have built a couple of compos and spent some gold on them. Yeah. Um, we, we also still haven't even started that ironworks because yeah, uh, Cologne's not shopping. ready yeah. yet. So just just a small error there, I think. It's pretty unlikely that Celts are going to attack us. We have their religion. Yeah, but they're sending all their profits yeah. that way. So we're going to get it again. and. They don't have just war, do they? Um, and here we probably go with a knight or a pikeman. So we definitely want to work our rider's guild. I don't think I want a knight. If I had to guess, if we get attacked, the AI is going to have built a stack of Pictish warriors because they favor unique, unit, unique yeah. units, which means they'll probably upgrade them all into pikemen. So if I had to guess, we're probably if if it comes, it's probably going to be a lot of pikemen. Um, so knights aren't going to be very useful. Uh, so I think I'm fine with either a pikeman or a crossbow okay we'll go crossbow then who wants to declare war on i don't so, think we do that no i don't think we do that either okay so that's our first great scientist, scientist right there uh, what do we do with our scientist we want to hold our scientist until eight turns after our next major science benchmark which, which is going to be when schools. we finish that uh so the observatory in um in hamburg hamburg mm -hmm. So eight turns after that, we could decide to bowl if we wanted, and it would be the total, the same amount of science if we waited until after our research labs. As long as the science contributes towards getting our next science benchmark, which would be public schools, Okay. Uh, one one hundred percent. What I mean by that is, someone on Reddit, someone did the math, and basically, as long as your scientist is bulbing for close to the maximum amount of science from the previous science benchmark, and when I say the science benchmarks, I'm talking about the the science buildings, so national college, universities, observatories, public schools and research labs. And as long as it contributes 100% of its science towards getting the next one earlier. So for example, if you had one turn left on scientific theory, you wouldn't want to bowl yeah. into scientific theory because it's not going to give you all of the science towards that school. It's only going to give you one turn's worth, which is going to be roughly like a sixth to an eighth of its science. The other thing we need to consider is our production. So if we bulb to school schools but we're not ready to build them because we haven't finished our factories we've essentially just wasted that science the short version is is we're going to hold it for now and then if we get to a point where we're we've got nothing to build we can bulb it if we do have plenty to build which we're probably going to here because our production sucks we can just hold it until okay. eight turns after our research labs sounds good okay so he just built leaning tower and found the World Congress. Yeah, even if we'd generated an engineer, we would have come up one turn short. Even if we had bulbed that scientist last turn and then immediately engineered it, we would have been same turned yeah. by the AI, which would have felt awful. This is definitely a slower game. I find I usually get leaning against the AI if I want it, although we didn't go through printing press. We're unhappy and being unhappy now is quite a bit worse than it was before because we've opened rationalism. Mm -hmm. It's costing us science. It's costing us roughly 16 signs per turn so we'll just buy it for nine gold straight up if you if you'll do that okay so um what do we propose here obviously not cultural heritage sites but actually cultural heritage site is one of the ways to buddy buddy with the ai oh, okay. so even though it only says that two people would be happy with us for that often um pretty much everyone likes culture there's very few people that don't like culture like i think babylon for example prefers science okay the other one that you can do is arts funding uh, so yeah look yeah, yeah. literally everyone loves arts funding so if we do this we're pretty much guaranteeing we don't get 
ward. The other options that we would have is, are we still last in tech? No, we're actually, right, so, yeah, we, we're still pretty much last. We're, we're on par with, yeah. uh, with Europa. By the time that the proposal came around, I think we may actually be close to first. So Scholars doesn't actually help us here, Scholars yeah. and Residents. Yeah. Uh, if we were having a really awful game, we could uh, propose Scholars and Residents. A lot of the AI don't like Scholars though, particularly if they're tech leader. Yeah, so Iroquois are quite bad. They're behind us, which means that they, they'll be happy and then lastly the other thing that you can propose is world's fair they all tend to love world's fair yeah they do what's our production it's close to last right yeah it's it's yeah it's it's actually average but, yeah it's uh, actually we're still a good good chunk behind the euro club but i think we may be able to get that at least a little bit ahead with with hansa so i think we should wait so, on the world's fair so we can actually um the ai doesn't start world's fair until they've finished whichever building or unit they're working on oh, when, okay. it's, when it's passes so what you can actually do is you can quite easily uh overflow so okay. the turn before world's fair passes you build a scout in every city basically mm -hmm. and then you uh also generally pop your golden age and you can also unwork what food you can to work a little bit of extra production mm -hmm. with all of those things combined i've actually gotten world's fair from last in production oh okay so you can actually sort of cheese it out. That's going, so going we, to require some some handling. Yeah, so we'd have to, when it comes up 20 turns from now, we'd need to do a little bit of micro. I think our options are either World's Fair, Arts Funding, because everyone liked Arts Funding. Yeah. So who liked World's Fair? World's Fair was liked by France, Egypt and the Iroquois, and Arts Funding was liked by everyone. Everyone. I think um, World's Fair is fine because France and Iroquois are two of the people that we're worried about. Celts would have been fantastic, but I think we can hold Celts if we have any problems. Okay. So I think we actually want World's Fair here. Okay. Um, so the crossbowmen will still get him down to the cap? Yep. We can actually start on our ironworks in the capital next turn. Yep, that looks good to me. And what do we build in Unique then? So we could build another unit, mm -hmm. for example, or I think the other choice we have would be to start amphitheaters yeah. towards um, I, I think Hermitage. I, I think I like that more, at least for now. I don't I don't see quite that many units here. Yeah, and considering our workers are doing nothing, we can go and scout with our worker. Yeah. So I, I would even uh, plant the worker, like even on the hill in between Dublin and Turo. Yeah, yeah, sounds yeah good. like there. We, we've got enough workers that even if we have to give one or two of them up, we're not too worried. Um, so they might as well do some scouting yeah, for but, us. It's yeah, at we, least shouldn't, something. we shouldn't do it with our Kievan worker though. I just no, yeah. no. So we'll cancel this. There's our other here. Yeah, that's that's our other key of worker. Okay. Um, so Munich actually took this city, uh, this tile, which I don't think is too bad, all things considered, right? Because it's it's something. I think it's the best we can do. Yeah. Um, actually, the lumber mill's also finished. Yeah. So I think we can actually work the lumber mill here in Munich. And then that leaves that civil service farm for Cologne. Okay. All right, so we finished our workshop, which is great. So we go for a library here or for a circus? I think library, right? Uh, I'm, considering whether I, I'm considering whether I want a work boat for that one fish. Yeah. It's unfortunate we have to build it here. It'd be much nicer if we could build it elsewhere, but it's gonna be a little bit of gold as well. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's, that's so decent. And then in work boat into a library, maybe? Yeah, as long as we can stay happy, I think it's work boat into library. Okay, sounds we, good. We may have even wanted to build that workboat a little bit earlier, yeah, but it's fine. Here's a new Printing press. Um, market? Yeah, so we want to work the sugar over the mine here. Yes, definitely. And then I think I want the temple next. Okay. I still live in hope that we're going to get 670 faith. And research. So I think it uh, should be banking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we're basically heading towards industrialization here. Yeah. So now we're working on the library. We should actually maybe be building a circus first, though, because we're I only think, on one happiness. I think what we actually do here is build the Colosseum to give us access ah, to. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fair point. Fair point. Obviously, the circus uh, costs no maintenance, and is it cheaper in production as well? I think it is. But if we build the Colosseum, we get access to a Circus Maximus, so okay. I think we definitely want to do that. And we're not going unhappy yet, so the protect the point the twenty first population in Berlin is protected, mm -hmm. and we've got one happiness left for Cologne. 
So I think we're fine. Okay. We would definitely want to prevent growth once we've opened rationalism to prevent us from going unhappy. Yep. And if we weren't so stretched for happiness, another thing that I'd really like to do is always be at least plus four so that when trades end, we don't go unhappy because um, we actually do lose the growth and the science every turn that that happens. Oh, okay. Um, do we yeah. want to work with this guy? I don't think- I think can... again, because we don't know about their relationship with the Celts, I, I think we don't. And they both wanted us to declare war on the other one, so I don't think we want yeah, to be well, friends here. Yeah, so, yeah. so in fact, we know that they don't like each other, yeah. so we definitely don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he's, but he only has one copy, so I don't think he's going to give it to it. Oh, he will. That's actually great. Quite unusual. I'm yeah. not sure why they're doing that this game. Uh, um, I, don't, I actually don't know either. We should start working our Hanses, right? Oh no, we can actually yeah. build a cargo. Yeah, so I agree. Cargo first. Yeah, I'll um, go into a Hansa probably. Yeah, probably. And, um, um, I'm just I'm just thinking, are we building a cargo ship or are we building a caravan? I think at this point I'd rather have a cargo ship to trade with Kiev or even Laventa yeah. because they want it. Yeah, that's that'd be nice. What's um and that that might be <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah. What's the food put excess food in Cologne? Is twenty two. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm definitely fine with that then. Yeah. A, a cargo ship. We don't need to send that a third caravan. Um. So research is economics for sure. Yeah. And then industrialization. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward at this point. I also noticed a a Celtish musket, which is just worth noting. So we could steal armories and gunpowder from the Celts at some point if we wanted ah, to. Yeah. Okay. So we can we should send this to. I'm actually thinking we're at the point where we can start sending mm -hmm. food to Cologne. Yeah, okay. So how, how long until we grow to our last civil service farm in Cologne? Um, nine turns. All right. I think nine turns is too long. I think we can buy that farm. So do we actually uh, delete the caravan and try to get another, another cargo ship out and trade uh, to Laventa from Cologne? I'm certainly considering it. So the first thing I want to check is that there's no inland okay. city-state quests for cargo ships. Uh, sorry for trade routes oh. so doesn't look like it they'd definitely be too far away yeah. all right so i think we can delete it and build a cargo ship probably going to come out of out of our capital though right no maybe actually still from i, th I think munich's oh. actually um oh. struggling for things to build so i think it's actually going to be munich yeah okay so we got our first artist and we just yeah. save him for now right i'll just Put them back here maybe good trick for anyone who doesn't know is chuck them if you chuck them in the water they become pretty much indestructible here it's actually not great because we could get like 100 frigates turn up in one turn <laughs> particularly in multiplayer the embarked units basically become combat units they take def at damage like a, a regular unit so it's often quite safe to put them in the water as well or in like a lake if you've got like a one tile lake but here i think we can just put it in uh put, in hamburg put it in this lake maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh hamburg yeah sounds good um, yeah yeah it's 20 tiles for a cargo ship before compass oh, okay. and then it's 30 okay, 30 okay. with compass someone had so a that it's nine uh, nine tiles okay um uh, so, so do we do we go to cologne and trade with laventa because they've got the quest or do we trade with kiev from our capitals capital straight away i like the little bit of faith that we're going to yeah. get from being friends Me with too. laventa and just production in hamburg uh market probably i think that's yeah i think we're not getting our garden which is a little unfortunate but one thing i will say a single garden is not all that beneficial gardens are great don't get me wrong all right i don't want anyone to think the gardens aren't really good but a single garden out of four cities because cologne's not getting a garden forever possibly literally ever is not very impactful because the way the scientist spawns work they come in waves and getting a single garden's actually not really going to get you a scientist an extra scientist it will get you a scientist quicker but because of how the spawn mechanic works there's actually a pretty much a fixed number of scientists that you're going to get in a game by the time we get to info era uh, the next wave of scientists will be like 20 or 30 turns away um, and the garden won't make the difference there so just a note that because our production is quite low a we can't build them because we're not indonesia and we don't have freshwater cities now uh, we could actually build one in berlin thanks to the oasis and that's probably worth it for the guilds um oh yeah sure thing but still after we, the hunter right uh probably not not because we're not actually going to be trading with a lot of city-states yet. The garden in Hamburg just for scientists isn't so impactful here. 
How exactly do the gardens work then? So they, they give uh, 25 great people generation in this city, but uh, like if they come in waves, it's like Berlin and then Hamburg and Cologne, I don't know. So what I mean by that is if we looked at Berlin's already generated a scientist, right? So yes. if we look at how long until it generates the next scientist, it's going to be a while. It'll be 17, 17 turns. turns. But if we look at our other two expands that have got our universities. Eight and eight, five. Right. So when we generate those scientists, Berlin's scientists will get pushed back because mm -hmm. the increase, the cost of the scientists will go up. And what that means is that once we generate the two extra scientists, one in Munich and one in Hamburg, Berlin's is like 20 plus turns away. And we'll actually find that we don't actually get an extra one. Okay. It's just, it'll get it earlier, but it won't get an extra one generally. I think we're actually going to have to build a Circus Maximus next turn in Berlin once we finish that Colosseum. So I think we actually, is there a one turn building that we can build that's useful? We could uh -huh. also purchase a Pagoda, but that would be the end of our chance yeah, of yeah. getting a... Um, it's like, it's, it's seriously, it's all of our faith, but two faith points. So I don't think we should yeah. do that at this point. No. Um, okay, so, I mean, we could build barracks in one turn. I wouldn't mind the walls here in one turn. Yeah. I think we're possibly going to have to uh, not grow for a second here next turn, yep. but we, we'll work that out when we get there. Still, okay, that's the next one. So we'll give that to Berlin to trade with Kiev, right? That's the order of business here. Uh, yeah, so we just want, because there's no quest, we just want the highest goal, yep. which we can check on the trade yep. route screen, but it's pretty much guaranteed to be oh, no. from the capital. Trade routes available. Uh, no, no, that's okay. If you sort it by goal. Yeah, no, no. And then, so it's... The next one down. Yeah, the lean to Kiev. Yeah, that's the highest goal for yeah. sure. Typically, uh, trades with the AI are stronger than the city states, but we obviously want to trade with the city yeah. states. Okay, so I think we go for university here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, we got two banana tiles, which makes them considerably better. Go for six Maximus here. We got two spare happiness and we'll lose three happiness. Three. So, All right. Yeah. So what I would do is I would go to the city with the least amount of food. So eight, uh, a lot, nine. So probably Hamburg. And I would unwork the four food tile and work the three hammer tile. And then I would unwork the... Sh yep. All right. And that's if you just jump out that's it's fine to, it's so going we'll to just starve us yeah but it only in quite some time okay yeah so we're only going to do it for like a couple turns as well because we're going to grow we're going to get that circus maximus so, pretty soon with the with the uh farm improved it's actually going give, giving us three turns which is good and that's it's still a little bit fast our circus maximus is in four, four turns, turns yeah. can we get the circus maximus could do it like this or i'd be okay getting the circus maximus down as well if we work the lumber mill over the freshwater farm here does that get it in three nope. and maybe uh, we, a workshop over yeah, a farm still we still need four more production here we could have this almost been worked I don't uh, think yeah we... i'd be okay with that i think that's worth doing so, so ch I'd... changing the so rather than changing it from here if you go to munich you won't get the bug oh yeah so if you unwork that and then work whatever we've got uh i'm trying to decide it were... probably not the food it's either one hammer or the market this city's actually got a reasonable production we've managed to get through most of the things we wanted to build so i think the market's actually fine because there's a little bit of science on the market. no we, we don't, don't have we, secularism but next next turn so it's it's yeah fine. and now we can work that uh that lumber mill in berlin i think that'll do it nope 8.8 <laughs> more okay so nah. this doesn't do it i don't think we can actually do it 5.5 yeah i just thought maybe like this we could but that is going to starve the, berlin yeah the, the planes have got the hammer on them anyway yeah yeah sure Didn't think all about right this. that's fine we can probably just delay yeah, yeah okay. this is fine so yeah. i unfortunately I'd, I'd i'd go and reverse all of that that we just did <laughs> uh okay so get this Oh, okay, actually, cargo ship to Kiev, which actually Zurich would give us a little happiness and more gold. It's also more exposed to barbarian. Oh, uh, yeah, obviously, obviously. Uh, so we, we have astronomy. So if anyone else has astronomy, the barbarians are going to have astronomy. Yeah, so there are frigates out on Iroquois, yeah, okay. which is fine. We just Probably the Hansa yep. here. And... Yeah, definitely a Hansa. Uh, and we can actually, we now want to work the market since we're now going and... to unlock secularism. Yeah, right? the markets are pretty bad tile, but we just don't have any other tiles the market's the best option we have but it's pretty rare that i'd be working a market 
this early. Okay, so I think we're going for industrialization right now. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> and after all that micro we did, we went unhappy because of the trade. <laughs> if you guys want to get really uh, min-max oriented, if you go to the trade screen on F4 and then deal history in the middle, you can actually see which turn they're ending. So you can actually predict an account for that if you really want to get like super min-max. Like if you're playing for like the fastest space victory ever and stuff like that, you definitely do that sort of thing. We're just trying to hold on. And <laughs> uh, so we, we actually want to work to the workshop now that we have secularism. Oh, uh, yeah, obviously. Because uh, it's because it's science. So what and shall do we not want to work this one? Uh, yes. Yeah, That's we so... actually should check all of our other cities and make yep. sure we're working our workshops. And we should start working on our university slots here, right? Yeah, definitely. So we just finished. Maybe we could do it uh, like this. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so production is pretty much always the first thing you give up. So I think windmill will come. Oh, oh, that's an interesting one. Now, windmills are pretty much not worth it. Oh, okay. If you look at how much production a windmill is. It's 167. And then if you look at how much we get out of a windmill. It's so we get two, a flat yeah. two plus 10%. So let's say we get two. And how many modifiers have we got on our production if you hover over our current production? Um, only 10%. Yeah, only 10%. So depending on what we're building, sometimes that modifies more. So let's be super generous and say it's 50%, right? So the windmill is going to be worth two base hammers plus 50%. So call it three base hammers plus 10%. So let's call that, let's say 10% of 50 hammers even because our production is so terrible here. Yeah. So that's another five hammers. So we're talking about eight total hammers. And then if we look at how long it takes to pay back eight hammers, how, how much was the windmill? Uh, 167. 167. So 21 so what, turns. So 20 odd turns. 20 odd turns is not the worst because we will definitely pay it back. But what it also means is that our Hansa is going to be five turns later. Our garden is going to be four turns later, let's say. Yeah. Our factory will be, say, three turns later. Our public school will be two turns later. And it only pays back right around the point that you finish your public school roughly, generally. Okay. And then we basically have like one more building to build. We're gonna build our research lab. Uh, we will build an amphitheater opera house. Mm -hmm. maybe armory i guess but the basically what it boils down to is the production roughly breaks even and the cost of delaying the buildings in the short term is greater than the benefit of breaking even yeah and then once you once you finish your buildings you get almost no benefit you get three three production per turn because yeah. you don't get the modifier for units okay, so um that's no to windmills then. <laughs> yeah, so you, you basically don't build them. The only time that you may consider building them if you, you really desperately need the tile to work as freedom. So if we pick freedom here and we're going to start thinking about our ideology because we're about to reveal and hopefully find coal. So the tile on the windmill uh, is three food, one... Uh, sorry, three production, one food, two science, plus modifiers, which is a reasonable tile. I haven't really given much thought to whether we're going freedom or not. And while we are short on tiles, we're also short on population. So I don't think we actually are going to necessarily be able to work the tile. Yeah. So I don't think it's actually too beneficial to us. So we'll just stick with the garden for now and uh, send this to Berlin as food. Yeah, we definitely need to keep sending food. Yeah. I'm pretty okay going for the Hansa first because we need that production. Okay. And we're, we're now trading with two city states. So it's... That's 10%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. starting to add up. So here we finished our university and we're working the slots. So I think we should start on a market or a shrine maybe. I think market first first in order to get to Hansa? I think we need to go market Hansa. Yeah, the city's got a lot of catch up to do, yeah. so the production's priority. Okay. Ah, and that takes us to the industrial era. Uh, so thank you all for hanging out and watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, again, if you've got any feedback, please feel free to leave it down below in the comments. Uh, if you're enjoying it, please leave a like. It helps promote the video uh, and more people get to see it, enjoy it like you have been. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.